Dow Jones failing to break past 33,750,800 zone yesterday has seen a massive reversal and has gone close to 33,200. Now today again from 33,500 levels it is trying to reverse and has come down till towards 33,300. So now what to expect from Dow Jones? With the U.S. session, can we expect this bearish bias to continue? Can we expect it to break past 33,200 levels and drop towards 33,000 levels, or we can expect a reversal as the prices are still divergent from the 20 period moving average, which is sitting at around 34,000 levels? Which position you should take trading Dow Jones today? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Watch till the end. First, we will start with the hourly charts and then graduate towards. Daily chart. So do watch till the end, and towards that I will give you the trading levels and strategy. Listen to it carefully. Let If you look at the hourly chart, see one thing you should note: rise, see drop, retracement, then a slight drop, then a retracement. Higher highs are seen. Here, yes, thirty-three five hundred levels, thirty-three five fifty levels are a great, great resistance. If you draw a parallel, if you just calculate the delta difference here. 450 to almost 480, or you can see 50 points. And if you calculate the delta difference here, 3250 to almost 50 points. So see, this is going to be the support zone here, and any drop below 33 250 is the only point where you can confirm that US that is going to break further, and then we can look forward to 180, 100, 33,000 levels also. Yes, it can. It has the probability to drop towards 33,000. Also remember, it is coming after touching 50 period moving average, and hence it has created a room for itself to continue with the bearish bias. Stock as tick is looking downwards. MACD after retracing again, trying to converge crossover for sell. Be careful here. RSI is looking downwards, trying to stay bearish. Coming to two hour chart. Look at two hour charts. The prices are divergent from the moving average. It has converged towards 20 period, precisely getting the resistance on the 20 period. It has started to drop. Now symmetrical formation here. And the next candle will be a possible breakout candle. If it stays below thirty-three three hundred, you can stay short. You can sell here, and expect it to continue towards one eighty and one hundred levels. In fact, I will be looking forward to thirty-three thousand and below levels if it stays below thirty-three one eighty levels. Now, if you look at the stock ISIC, this is looking downwards. The MACD is almost flat, and it is at a comfortable levels. Though it is below zero, though it is at a lower level, but it does not mean that it cannot show you further lows from here. RSI trying to trade bearish, looking downwards here. Coming to three R. Likewise on the three R charts. See first of all the price is staying divergent, the retracement, then the retracement, and now again see how beautiful it is creating steps for itself. Now this is the bearish channel in which it is trying to trade. Bearish channel here means thirty three thousand at the bottom and thirty three five hundred at the top. These are the five hundred points in which it is trying to consolidate. Now if you look at the candle here on the three R charts, see symmetrical candle, lower lows. This is the first reversal candle, and then the next candle is going to be decisive here. So when the next candle stays below thirty-three three hundred, possibility for it to trade further lower towards thirty-three one eighty and one hundred levels will increase. In fact, thirty-three thousand is what I will look forward to. Staying below thirty-three one eighty, directly I will expect it to drop towards thirty-three thousand. If not today, possibly by tomorrow or some point of time in this week. Yes, these levels are achievable as well. Now, if you look at the formation retracement drop. Retracement, higher highs, higher lows. So this is something. Now, when I say higher highs, higher lows, this suggests that as long as thirty three two hundred is respected, we are not going to treat tech uh, Dow Jones as bearish. Remember this fact. As long as thirty three two hundred is respected, we are not going to treat Dow Jones as bearish, as it is still in the retracement channel. After the drop, this is retracement, and hence what it may try to do, it can possibly drop towards thirty three two fifty and bounce back from those levels. This is also very much possible because see. The last rise, and it has yielded higher highs. This is uh, indicating that there is a possibility that higher highs, higher lows may be seen after consolidating here, and then possibly after consolidating in this zone, a breakout will be seen later. The stock is still looking down. MACD is trading bearish. It is looking downwards as of now. RSI is also trading bearish. Looking at four R charts. Now look at four R charts. First of all, look at these two candles. See, it has breached. And then continued on the upside towards 33,500 levels. Now look at the previous candle was again a reversal here. Price is failed to stay bullish. It is closed in green, green, and then after a couple of retracement, now this is the. Now when I say breakout, this can be a deeper breakout where one can look over to 250, 200 levels at least. And breaking below 180 is where the bears will take over. Remember, after the drop, the retracement, and after the consolidation, first breakout means it. Can continue with the further bearish candles here. Be careful. As long as 33400 is respected, do not treat US 100 as US 30 as bullish. 
बट एट द सेम टाइम अबो थर्टी थ्री फोर हंड्रेड यू कैन बाय एक्सपेक्ट फोर फिफ्टी एंड फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स एंड वंस इट स्टेज बियॉन फाइव हंड्रेड जस्ट ए लॉन्ग स्टॉक एज टिक एज रिटेल्स मैन डी इज ट्रेडिंग विद डाइवर्जेंस एंड बेरिशनेस आर एस आई इज ऑल्सो लुकिंग डाउन वर्स स्टेग एट बॉटम कमिंग टू द डे नाउ लुक एट द डेली चार्ज सी वन पॉइंट हेयर इज द क्रॉस ओवर बिटवीन द फॉर फिफ्टी एंड हंड्रेड द ट्वेंटी पीरियड मूविंग एवरेज सिटिंग एट थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड लेवल्स द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द लोअर हाइज एंड लोअर लोज इट इज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट सपोर्ट लेवल्स आर सीन एट थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड लेवल्स वॉट इज एपन टूडे इज इट इज और फॉर्म द टेल विक हेयर नाउ इट इज ट्राइंग टू शो यू द ग्रेविटेशन पुल ऑन द डाउन साइड देर कुड बी फर द बेरिशनेस हेयर बी केयरफुल हेयर राइट नाउ आई रिकमेंड यू टू सेल एट थर्टी थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड बट देन बी वॉच फुल ऑफ टू फिफ्टी एंड टू हंड्रेड लेवल्स दीज टू माइल स्टोन वंस इट ब्रीच इज राधर आई विल से वन एटी टू फिफ्टी एंड वन एटी लेवल्स वंस इट ब्रीच इज बिलो वन एटी जस्ट स्टे शॉर्ट फर्दर फॉर थर्टी थ्री वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड लेवल्स एक्चुअल सपोर्ट लेवल्स एक्चुअल टारगेट इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड लेवल्स रिमेंबर इट कैन इट कैन इनफैक्ट ब्रीच फर्दर ऑन द डाउन साइड बट एज लॉन्ग एज थर्टी थ्री टू हंड्रेड इज द चांस ऑफ ए रिवर्सल विल ऑल्सो एडजस्ट एंड हेंस यू हैव टू वॉच आउट बिकॉज सी प्राइस इज आर टू मच डाइवर्जेंट फ्रॉम द मूविंग एवरेज इट कैन कन्वर्ज अगेन सो एज लॉन्ग एज थर्टी थ्री टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन एटी लेवल्स आर रिस्पेक्टेड वी हैव टू वॉच आउट इट it should not show any signs of a reversal because once it tries to reverse more bullish momentum may prevail chances appear to be less here a stock has been looking down macd is trading with extreme divergence and bearishness first zone is done second it can stretch further downside and then reverse from there rsi is also staying over so so looking at this sell at 33 300 and buy at 33 400 for this 100 points do not trade above 400 450 500 two major major resistances above 500 just stay long it is not going to stay bearish above 33 500 levels we can look forward to 650 and 720 levels at the next milestones there yes above 33 500 we may not see it retracing on the downside 500 is going to be a great great resistance and likewise on the downside 33 200 is going to be a great support below that we may see it hitting 33000 levels so take your trades accordingly do like share subscribe and comment and join my mentorship batch the 26 batch is going to start on 9th of october limited seats are available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description and hence press the bell icon or join my free telegram channel to get the live market updates and friends your every like comment and share is a great support motivation inspiration for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities and thus do press the like button do comment before leaving the video thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead see you again tomorrow with the latest updates on uh, us indices before the us session thank you